hey guys so i just wanted to show you all um where i am now in the process since passing fundamentals of nursing aka foundations of nursing as you can see here this is our student portal so i am halfway through the program um and i have completed two and a half terms so far 21 weeks are remaining in this term and these are the courses that I currently have active. Basic nursing skills is only requiring three pre-assessments. Health assessment requires an objective assessment, which will be proctored, and three pre-assessments, which are not proctored. Adult health one, aka med surge, we will have six pre-assessments, one objective assessment, and these are the dates, the projected dates of when I will get those classes completed. So for basic nursing skills, um, this is where you will learn all about going to labs and what's required in labs. And this is the course that teaches you the basic nursing skills. So like taking blood pressures and dealing with Foley catheters and IVs, things of that nature. So here in the course material is where you will prepare the assignments um, called Tickets to Ride. Here, let's see. So all of this talks to you about what needs to be done in this course how the course will look, the simulations, um, and things of that nature. So under Tickets to Ride, these are the assignments that have to be completed two weeks prior to attending the first lab. These are our assignments. So Shadow Health is basically um, a simulation, and I did the one for pain. I'm currently working on um, the one for mobility with this patient here. I've also completed the HESI patient reviews. So Shadow Health, again, is a simulation site that allows you to be the nurse to a patient. So this is literally the digital clinical experience. I already did the orientation, and like I said, I already did this exam for pain. Now I'm working on the mobility exam. Um, with this patient, Robert Hall. So once inside, I will show you all what I've done so far as, as far as um, interviewing the patient and during the orientation phase where you're kind of like building rapport, you're finding out their chief complaint, you're talking to them about medications that they've already taken um, to help in these situations. This particular patient, um, he suffered a fall and he's also dealing with some osteoarthritis. Um, he has a history of hypertension um, and he takes medication for it. So this is what it looks like um, upon entering the Shadow Health Simulation Hospital. I've already started, so I click resume, and it brings me into this screen with my patient. Basically, picking up where I left off. This is my interview guide here. I've already completed 40 of the 54 um, subjective responses through the questionnaire. As you can see here, I am filling in the nursing admitting notes as I go along and ask my patient questions. So in this box here, we can ask questions, we can educate them on things that they have going on, and we can also empathize with the patient when they tell us something um, about their health. So, it's pretty cool because it's kind of like you're actually the nurse that's doing what needs to be done. You can see their orders, you can see their labs, everything. 
um, vitals. And then as we go along, I will also do a health assessment. But for now, this is the guide that helps me know what to ask my patient during the interview. Um, I come in, I introduce myself, and then I get right into it by asking them what brought them in today. And, you know, you go through the process of figuring out a care plan with them. So I'll be back to show you guys um, the health assessment. So this is the screen where I am actually doing the patient's health assessment. So right now I'm checking his range of motion for his hips and the box pops up that lets you know if the patient was able to complete it or what their flexion, extension, and abduction is. So it says noticeably reduced hip flexion. So I'll come over here and I choose the correct answer of the patient um, after he was examined. And he also had a reduction in extension, abduction, and adduction. So you continue and then you move on to the next one. So here is the knee range of motion. So this is the exam menu, as you can see, and this is what walks us through the health assessment. So I'm going to show you the knee range of motion. The box pops up over here um, after his knee was tested for range of motion. So right and left flexion, present reduced flexion. So on the right side, the flexion, it was reduced. It was also reduced on the extension. And so then you put that for each one. Continue and go through each exam health assessment. So I'm going to complete that. Then I will let you all see when I am finished. So the care plan activity consisted of me choosing a nursing diagnosis and planning a healthcare goal for the patient. I had to select the appropriate short-term goals, interventions, and rationales of what would need to be done so that the patient can safely be discharged. As a nursing student, you'll learn that your goals should always follow the SMART criteria and also um, it walks you through educating the patient and family so that they hopefully don't return with the same issue. Hopefully this video helped anybody who had questions regarding shadow health and what need to be completed before labs. If you enjoyed this video, please like it or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.